One of the most important skills that you can develop on a motorcycle is emergency braking. It's taught by just about every motorcycle training class, and it's something that we as riders need to practice on a regular basis. But every time I discuss the subject here on MC Rider, I get a few comments from viewers who say that I'm teaching it wrong. This week on MC Rider, let's look at the subject of emergency braking, and then I want to hear from you what you think about the subject. Okay, emergency braking. I have 12 other videos on the subject of braking on MC Rider. You can see those at mcrider.com slash brakes if you want to learn more on that subject. But every time I release a video on the subject, I hear from some writers that I'm teaching it wrong. Well, first, let me tell you the technique that I teach. So the steps to stop a motorcycle in the shortest distance, you roll off the throttle as you squeeze in the clutch. Use the front and rear brakes. Focus primarily on the front brake as you use a smooth, progressive squeeze to stop the motorcycle. As you're performing the stop, downshift into first gear before you come to a complete stop and be prepared to move. Now, I would agree that the first gear thing is kind of optional as the primary goal is to stop and avoid the collision. But it would be better to stop in first gear in case you need to move if the car behind you cannot stop. But in practice, I believe we should train for perfection. So I always include downshifting as a part of the stop when I'm training, giving a better chance of doing this in an actual emergency if the situation arises. But first gear is not the actual controversy here. There's something else in this technique that gives a lot of riders issue, and that's squeezing in the clutch. So the comments I hear are, well, why are you squeezing in the clutch? Your first brake is engine braking. Keep the bike in gear and use the engine to help with the stop. Or I hear, just let the motorcycle engine stall and focus on the brakes. Well, I think this must be a technique taught in some of the European countries because I've heard it a lot, and it makes for some interesting conversation. Most U.S. schools teach the technique as I explained earlier, and it's something that I've adopted into my own writing habits and practice habits as well. But here's some reasons why I think this is the correct technique. On a motorcycle, I don't need more brake power. The brakes on a motorcycle are capable of easily locking the tire up on the road. What I really need is more traction and proper application of the brakes to stop in an emergency. Because the brakes are capable of locking the tire up all on its own and engine braking is not really needed. As stated earlier, there's a lot of benefit to having the motorcycle in first gear after the stop because you never know what the car behind you will do. If I'm stalled or I'm in sixth gear, I'm trusting that everyone else around me is going to do the right thing. The only real benefit I can see to not using the clutch is that brief amount of time it takes to transition to the brakes. In that millisecond, the engine may scrub a little speed from the motorcycle, but it becomes much less effective in the higher gear that you're in. So if I'm in sixth gear and there's very little engine braking when I roll off the throttle, and I don't see that as a fair trade-off to getting the motorcycle down into first gear. So again, to repeat my thoughts on the proper technique for emergency braking, you roll off the throttle as you squeeze in the clutch. Use the front and rear brakes. Focus primarily on the front brake as you use a smooth, progressive squeeze to stop the motorcycle. I'd love to hear from other riders in the comments below, but we'll be having a discussion on the forums Support the channel on Patreon and get immediate access to the forums in the field guide at mcrider.com support. And you can find the discussion on this video and a lot of other MC Rider videos at mcrider.com videos. If you're a trainer who teaches the technique of not using the clutch in the stop, I'd love to hear from you as well. Maybe I can learn a thing or two from you. So leave a comment below or if you're a forum member, definitely add your thoughts on the forum so until next week guys this is kevin with mc rider i'll see y'all